The first thing to know about Britain's next generation fighter jet is simple. It's big. At the sprawling Wharton factory near Preston in Lancashire, a full-scale mock-up of the aircraft, codenamed Tempest, dominates the hangar. Run by British defence giant BA Systems, this is no ordinary prototype. It is a glimpse into the future of air combat, not just for the UK, but for its international partners too. The jet is being developed under the Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, a groundbreaking tri-nation defence pact between the United Kingdom, Italy and Japan. Their shared ambition? To have this supersonic stealth aircraft in operational service by 2035. It's an aggressive timeline, but one that underscores just how urgent the need is to counter rising threats from adversaries like Russia and China. According to Johnny Morton of BA Systems, the size of the prototype is not final, but it's close. And size matters here, not for aesthetics, but for performance and survivability. Bigger fuel tanks mean longer range. A broader fuselage means internal weapons bays, ensuring the aircraft retains a smooth, radar-resistant profile. In the age of modern warfare, stealth is survival. But Tempest is more than just a stealthy missile truck. It's a node in a vast digital battlefield. It will be able to link up in real time with other aircraft, satellites, ground forces and drones. In short, it's being built to dominate information warfare and long-range missions deep inside enemy territory. Missions where contact with home base may be severed and decisions have to be made at supersonic speeds. So critical is the need for range that project leaders have floated an ambitious capability that Tempest might one day cross the Atlantic without mid-air refuelling. That would be a first in Royal Air Force history. To understand the significance of that, consider this. The RAF's Typhoon, currently its mainstay fighter, has a combat radius of roughly 860 miles. The F-35A, the American stealth jet the RAF is also eyeing, can manage around 680 miles. The distance between London and Moscow is approximately 1,550 miles. Without refueling, neither of the current fighters could make that round trip. Tempest is being designed to do exactly that and more. Defence analyst Francis Tusa puts it bluntly. This aircraft will be in a completely different league than anything Britain has ever built. The jet's maximum takeoff weight could exceed 30 tonnes more than the famed Lancaster bombers that helped win the Second World War. And with that weight comes the ability to carry a devastating payload, potentially twice as much as the F-35. In a future war scenario with Russia, the jet's mission would be clear. Week 1. Deep strike into enemy territory to knock out surface-to-air missile sites, airfields and radar arrays. Week 2. Once air superiority is established, the jet could loiter over contested zones, swatting enemy fighters out of the sky or supporting ground troops with precision strikes. But range isn't the only advantage. Tempest is also being built as a communications command centre, a flying battle hub that can stay connected with allies even if satellites or secure bases are compromised. This kind of resilience is central to GCAP's design philosophy. Behind the scenes, the project is being led by Team Tempest, a partnership between the UK Ministry of Defence and some of the country's most advanced defence companies, including BA Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo and MBDA, the European missile manufacturer. What began as a British-led initiative has since grown into a truly international collaboration. In 2023, the UK's Tempest project merged with similar programs in Italy and Japan under the GCAP banner, pooling technology, resources and strategic vision. For Japan, the long-range capabilities mean the ability to strike deep into mainland China if required. For the UK, it's about defending Europe's eastern flank and projecting power across the globe without relying on vulnerable refuelling tankers. The ability to go far, hit hard and return safely, undetected, 
is what sets Tempest apart. Unlike earlier generations of jets that had to rely on mid-air refueling or forward bases, this fighter is being designed with strategic autonomy in mind. It will give political and military leaders options they've never had before, whether facing down Russian missile batteries or patrolling the vast skies over the Pacific. There is still a long road ahead. The aircraft is not expected to fly until the early 2030s. But make no mistake, Tempest is not just a fighter jet. It's a signal that the UK, Italy and Japan are preparing for a new era of high-stakes, high-tech conflict. One in which speed, stealth, range and digital warfare could decide not only the outcome of battles, but the shape of the geopolitical order itself.